Hello and welcome to the Sysup app tutorial video. Let's start off by setting up your account. Enter your email address and receive confirmation code to proceed. In my case, I have already done that. And I will press on login with Google, choose my email, and there I am already inside of the app. From here, please navigate to the bottom right corner of your screen to the settings icon. And here, let's start by editing our account info. Press on the top widget, which is account settings. Here we can see our account ID, set our first name, last name, and username. You can also change your picture. Let's do that quickly. I'll change it to this gold one. Here, let's save our account details. Then, after that, we can also check list. The list will have all your vehicles that you have added. Here is my current. And to add a new one, just press on the plus icon on the top right corner. To set it up, you, need, you will need to add your email that can be found on the scissor box. Type in your vehicle name, brand, model, plate number, and you can select the vehicle type that will show as an icon on the main dashboard. In my case, I'm presenting a gold wing. Although we don't have a tour icon yet, let's use adventure for now. Now that that is done, let's examine the main dashboard. Press the home button in the bottom left corner of your screen. Here we can see some useful base information, icons, and details. On the top left corner, we can see the battery levels of your vehicle. On the right, can see the weather at the vehicle location. You can also change it to Fahrenheit if you wish. Slightly below, there's an icon indicating whether the vehicle is in motion or fully stopped. On the left, we can simply see if the device is online or not. The next thing we will examine is widgets. The shortcut icon that leads to widgets is located next to the dashboard home button on the bottom left side of your screen. After pressing on it, we see all of the available widgets at your disposal. Further, we see the following features. Group rides, notifications, organizer, silent mode, distance, share location, and some others that we will look into later. Let's briefly examine them one by one. Set up a group ride with your Sysup friends and see each other's location and other stats for the duration of the group ride. Or to be more exact, notifications history. This is basically your inbox where you can see all and examine all notifications that are related to your device and check if there are any unread as well as examine any older notifications. You can go between days and select multiple days as well. As well as clear history. Here you will be able to create notifications about your next technical maintenance insurance and some other options you might need a reminder for you can press on each section select the date confirm make it repeatable or not decide if you want push notification or sms and press save direct you to your default map app from where you can find the easiest route to your bike this can come in handy if you you have forgotten where you have left it or when trying to recover it from a potential thief or an impound. In cases when you don't want to be disturbed during the day or night, you can manually select which notifications will or will not be sent to you while the silent mode is active. You can also change the duration of the silent mode, an hour, a day, a week, or even unlimited. All notifications that uh, have not been received while on silent mode can be viewed in the notifications history tab. Here, we can see the distance you have ridden today, how much of that time have you been in trip or stop, and the total distance covered. I assume this is rather self-explanatory, but when examining the feature, you can check your average speed all-time max speed as well as the max speed of the day or any other day for that matter is our quick and easy way of disabling and enabling unauthorized movement notification this can come in handy when you're working on your bike in your garage or something like that the feature can be toggled on on or off with a simple press of the widget 
The share location button is one of our newest additions. It is meant for sharing your live location or the location with a slight delay with anyone you wish to share the link with. As it works, even if they do not possess the CISAP app as it is displayed through our website. Let's try setting one up. Press on the plus button. You can decide if you want to show the active location or just the pin. If you want to share other details such as speed, you can toggle this. You can decide for how long do you want to share the, and whether or not you wish to implement a delay in case you want to make a surprise appearance. For instance, 30 minutes. Let's name it and save. To share it, just press on the share button and if you press on the this icon it directs you to the website where you can see our website map on the main dashboard you will only see six widgets so choose carefully which ones you want to have the easiest access to to switch up the order simply hold and drag the widget you want to have in a certain place now it's time to examine the map you can press on it directly from the main dashboard and here we have a couple of options of what we can do. Let's start off from the left hand side at the bottom. The first icon is trips. Here you can maneuver through days and see detailed reports of where exactly you or someone else has been traveling with your bike. You can press on the pinpoints or routes and examine them. Next up is Eco Drive. Here you can see a summary of the manner in which you have been driving for your selected time period. It can be a day or you can even select months. It showcases percentages of acceleration, braking and harsh turning. The higher the percentage, the more eco-friendly the drive has been. Next up is geofences or geofencing. This helps you track the location of your bike in case you don't want to go somewhere. Or for instance, you have given your bike to someone and you don't want them to go from somewhere or beyond a certain border. Let's try setting one up. Press on create and let's name it. You should choose a pinpoint on the map and then select the radius. Let's do five kilometers press continue and now you need to decide whether you want to receive notifications when inside or outside of the geo zone let's do inside which means we need to disable this save it and you can even press c on map this is the radius when looking on the right side of your screen you can see an eye icon the eye icon will keep you focused on the vehicle while on maps. And the arrow icon right beneath allows you to share rides with friends on your social networks. If you press on it, you can press on share, and then you can decide of what you want wish to share. And here you can decide whether you want to export it in PNG or GPX format. Uh, we recommend you use this way of sharing as we know that many of you make screenshots to share your uh, rights and achievements on sysup however the sharing function is very easy to use so give it a try why won't you let's focus on the top right corner of your screen here you can see a gear icon if you press on it you can see the map settings this allows you to change the visual settings of the map. Pretty much everything can be changed, but everything here is strictly associated to the visual representation on the map. Like color, wind, map style, or map type even. You can change it as you please. Let's head back to settings from the main dashboard. Press on the gear icon on the bottom right corner of your screen. Here, as per settings, we can change a lot of the features in the app. For instance, language. As you can see, there are multiple options to choose from. Measurements, in case you like the imperial system or prefer Fahrenheit instead of Celsius. So besides that, we have covered pretty much everything that there is to know about settings. You can also see update history, see what are new features added in each update that you have had 
can reread the terms and conditions if you please and also check out the manual in multiple languages and frequently asked questions at the bottom we have left the option to leave us a review a positive one hopefully and that's pretty much it thank you for watching the video and we hope you will enjoy this is a app till next time bye